Okay, here's the thing. I don't really like big cubes that much anymore. Um, I like 4x4. Actually, I think I like 4x4 more than 3x3. But big cubes like 5x5 and beyond just feel excessive. 5x5 five five used to not be bad. I like I liked 6x6. Six six, um, and then I did that once at a competition. Almost missed getting pizza. Oh, we still have some more pizza. We have some more chips. Wait, I haven't gotten any food yet. A little bit more drinks if you'd like. Wait for me. And haven't done it since. It wasn't the pizza's fault. But five by five has slowly moved into that category. Now I feel like if I got faster, it would be uh, easier to like it. But so it's been. It's been at least a year, if not two, since I've really done 5x5. Five five. So let's see how it goes. So I'm gonna do a little introduction, then I'm just gonna do some solves without talking, although I might talk over it. I will talk over it, because it'll be boring if I don't. This is the Diane 5x5, five five, the... That, that thing, Nisha. I don't think five, uh, Diane's ever done a 5x5 five five before. And um, I've heard some positive things about this. I've heard some not so positive things, specifically, ooh, other springs. Higher tension springs, probably. Okay, well, the thing that, what's with, what's with this circle? Maybe it's just, oh, okay. What I've heard that's not so positive is that it feels very loose. Tensions are a little loose. Not too bad, though. Um, very, very light, very fast turning. Okay, that needs to be tightened. But I've heard that, you know, the tensions just, just don't feel strong enough. But it comes with extra springs. And they're pretty much always higher tension. It doesn't say in the box, which is always fantastic. I wish they would say something. Even if it was like, like a sticker that says, um, I don't know, T plus for higher tension. Let's tighten it a little bit because I don't want this thing to pop on me. But I'm just going to do some solves, see how it goes. Already out of the box, compared to the feeling of the MGC, that's what Evan wants it to be compared to, it feels a little more square. So the MGC has a little more bubbly feeling on each of the pieces. And it definitely feels faster out of the box. There's like no lubrication on this. I want to use the word, the word swooshier, but that's very vague. More companies are going with, I don't think that's just undyed of the same plastic. I think it's actually like a nylon. I don't really understand how that works in plastic form but it seems to be a little more slick with the pieces moving over top of each other. MGC really just got a lot right. I don't think there's been bad 5x5s. Like, lately, there's been a lot of amazing ones, but something about the bubbliness, the speed, all of that with the MGC just really works. But this works really well, too. As far as size, it feels... Um, basically like all the more recent ones, so about 62 millimeters. I like to use the mini YJ, but that's almost too small for me. But I'm just gonna do a couple solves. I am not fast at five by five. On a couple good days, I'll get a minute and a half, but on average, it's like two and a half. I think the last competition I did, the cutoff was 215, and I barely, barely got it. Okay, here we go, let's do some solves.
let's talk about this. This is a good five by five. Um, if you wanted something that felt like an updated version of the Valk, this would be it. It's very fast, very light. Actually, I think a good comparison would be If you think of the MGC as feeling kind of like the WRM, where it's not super light, pieces are kind of bubbly, it's fairly stable, this is like the GAN 11, where it's more flexible, it's much lighter turning, it's faster. I've got some pain in my hand right now, and I just did about 10 solves, and I don't feel tired from doing it. I, If I was going to do more solves, I would do it with this over the MGC just for the sake of not hurting my hand it's a really good 5x5 i'm curious what it's going to be like with the tighter tensions i don't think it needs tighter tensions i don't think the springs need to be stronger um these are going to be stronger for sure i can't imagine them giving lighter springs but it's worth it so i'll have a link in the description where you can get it use discount code scr which will save a discount so I'll have a link in the description where you can get it. Use discount code SCR to save at checkout. It also helps support the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future. And as always, tip by speedqbview.com for more news and reviews.